Now here's the film to divide the viewers. My guess is about 70% of people will hate it, 20% will go, what was that? And 10%, self included, will be laughing out loud and lapping up every muddy grey pixel of this home video styled opus that throws conventional film craft right out the window. This is Computer Chess. It's 1980 or thereabouts and a bunch of competitive computer programmers descend on a hotel for a weekend of competing. Into the arena of death or glory enter the gladiators. Their aim, winner takes all in a fight to the final keystroke. They are pitting their refined logic against well gets nothing really because the competitors are actually the machines. And no, it's not a Transformers movie. Andrew Bachalski, writer and director of the near to non-budget Funny Ha Ha, again working here on near to no budget, was faced with a dilemma. He wanted his film to look like it was shot right there on the spot, capturing every non-nail-biting moment of code crunching and circuit clashing carnage of that pre-Commodore 64 era event. Now, mainstream filmmakers can spend a lot of dollars, a lot of effort, to get a, a kind of certain look that echoes a bygone era. Martin Scorsese on The Aviator. He kept film labs and digital colorists employed for months in an effort to mimic the look of 1930s two-strip Technicolor, but using modern equipment and film stocks. And in the end, most audiences just thought there was something wrong with the color of the print they were seeing anyway. So how much effort would you need to recreate the look of a 1970s portable black and white analog tube video camera. Well, yes, you could shoot with modern equipment like an Arri Alexa and then spend a small fortune in post-production to make the image look like something it never was in the first place, or you could just use a 1970s black and white tube video camera, right? Wrong. No one has manufactured the hardware in 40 years. No spare parts. Even if you could shoot it, how would you record the output signal authentically. Again, no one makes the videotape anymore. And if you pulled some old reels off the shelf to reuse, there's a good chance the oxide coating would just simply fall off. It just doesn't survive in the long run. But could you get one of those old cameras fired up and a picture going? Yes. Then could you take the signal out the back, bypass using the of the era video recorder and capture the signal onto a modern format, something that's been modified to convert analog Sanskrit to modern zeros and ones. As it turns out, yes. Bachowski, cinematographer Matthias Grunsky and the crew got clever with modifying three Sony AVC3260 cameras. They were in common use in the 1970s and they created a hybrid form. The front end, an analog tube black and white camera and the back end, a modern digital recording medium. Now what makes computer chess feel so incredibly real and so anchored in the period beyond the proliferation of oversized eyewear, perforated printer paper and period pocket protectors is this totally authentic video Excuse look. Me. As if the whole event was indeed shot in that daggy hotel on that specific weekend in 1980 whatever by a crew who had little idea of technique. And at this point, that old chestnut of debate raises its head again. Is it a conventional comedy slash drama, or is it a mockumentary? Now, Computer Chess definitely gets a little confused with its own world construct. It starts off doco in style, then, when convenient, drops in on situations and conversations where a camera would never be present, at times even filming the crew filming the film. <laughs> Let's face it, the only legitimate way to get the supposed single camera capturing the action into the action is to point at a, a mirror or other highly reflective surface. But here, through the magic of the movies, at times our crew are in front of the camera, with the camera. Oh geez, there's a whole thesis just waiting to be written on breaking that fourth wall. I think that with this theory of yours, you're making a few wrong connections. and. I'm worried that if you're fixating on this, the balance of wrong connections to right connections could shift. And at that point, we've lost our sanity. I have to admit, Computer Chess is one of the most original and refreshing movies I've seen in years. It's, it's way out there as a one of a kind, both technically and artistically. 
Given the cast are largely non-actors, there's a surprising subtlety in the performances. No coarse acting to be seen anywhere. And Bachalski delicately orchestrates every manoeuvre, cementing the K very solidly into cringe comedy. At times the humour is so gentle on the upload, you don't even realise you're meant to be laughing until the scene is nearly played out, which just makes each bite of information all the more delectable. Shelley, hi, Mike Papa George. I was one of the panellists. How you doing? I see uh, you're with the MIT team. That's wonderful. I think that we need more women here at this conference. I mean, seriously, you get all these guys together to come up with a solution for this problem, and what do they come up with? Brute force. Brute force. It's pathetic, really. I'd be willing to bet that you and I are the only ones here who even understand that programming has a feminine side. You do care about the meek and mild Peter and whether he gets laid or not. You do care that the even meeker Shelley stands a chance of being accepted by the boys and taken seriously for her skills. Oh, and then there's the couple attending the couple's workshop at the same venue who decide to befriend young Peter and offer him an introduction to a whole new type of cross-platform communication. Oh, oh yeah, we are, we are very open. We're very accepting and... You know, I hate to say it, but uh, we are actually old enough to be your parents. And uh, if you want to think of us that way, well... So, will I like this one, Greg, I hear you ask? Oh, look, probably not for most of you, so go and download a noisy Marvel superhero movie or something. But if you are up, for a high dose of brain-draining visual blandness, where the mundanity is really a masquerade for the truly eccentric and erudite, then do press enter. Make the first move. Chess is victory. End game. Have you found the Cracks official website? Between the Cracks, one word, dot reviews. There's so much more there. Links to articles about the reviewed films, longer versions of reviews in a text form, background information, cool colour graphics, you know, the whys and whats of what this journey into the undervalued cinema is all about. Hey, maybe don't say undervalued. Well, why not? It just diminishes the value of what you're doing. Like, try to rephrase it as a positive. What, these overvalued films? Yeah, much better. But it's not the truth. Truth? No, 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 it doesn't matter. Movies aren't truth. But these reviews... They're are... just opinions. Yeah, right. Hmm.